What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener. All right, sorry about that cheesy joke, but I felt like saying it. Um, it's Mr. C here, Linear Algebras, talking about definite and indefinite matrices in this video. So I'm going to give you a few definitions and then a couple of theorems uh, regarding the definitions. Um, all right, so a quadratic form is said to be positive definite if when you form the product x transpose ax, which is going to be a real number, by the way, um, is greater than zero for every non-zero vector x. So a vector x that has at least one non-zero entry. Quadratic form is said to be negative definite if the product x transpose ax is less than zero for every non-zero vector x. A quadratic form is said to be indefinite if the product x transpose ax yields both positive and negative values with different non-zero vectors x. So basically that's saying um, if you pick a vector x and it gives you a positive value x transpose ax and you pick a different vector x and it gives you a negative value from the product x transpose ax, then we say the quadratic form is indefinite. All right, so um, what does this all mean? Why is it relevant? Uh, well, let's talk about the first theorem. Um, the If A is a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix, then X transpose AX is positive definite if and only if all the eigenvalues of A are positive. So if you form lambda I minus A, take the determinant and set that equal to 0, um, and all the eigenvalues are positive, then the quadratic form is positive definite x transpose ax is negative definite if and only if all the eigenvalues of a are, you probably guessed it, negative, according to the context of Arnold, negative. The quadratic form x transpose ax is indefinite if it is neither positive definite nor negative definite. Um, so I want to just kind of expand on that. Basically, this means that some of your eigenvalues are positive and some are negative. So we'll say some lambdas greater than zero and some lambdas less than zero. So in other words, if you get a mixture of positive and negative eigenvalues, then the quadratic form x transpose ax is indefinite. All right, well, here we have a few more consequences um, or uh, statements regarding definite and indefinite matrices. If A is a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix, then if we set the quadratic form equal to 1, this is going to represent an ellipse if A is positive definite. In other words, if all the eigenvalues of the symmetric matrix A are positive, then we know in advance that the quadratic form that we're working with corresponds to an ellipse. X transpose AX equals 1. If we set the quadratic form equal to 1, it's going to have no graph if the symmetric matrix A is negative definite. In other words, you get what's called a degenerate conic section if x transpose ax is negative definite. So all of the eigenvalues are negative. x transpose ax is going to represent a hyperbola if a is indefinite. So what that means is that if you get some eigenvalues that are positive and some eigenvalues that are negative, of course, if this is a 2 by 2 symmetric matrix, uh, if you get one eigenvalue is positive and one is negative, then uh, the symmetric matrix, I'm sorry, the quadratic form is considered indefinite. And we would know in advance that the conic section that it corresponds to, the quadratic form, um, would be a hyperbola. All right, and that's all we need to know regarding these types of matrices. Of course, if you have any questions about the contents of this video, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.